Today's recipe is a very simple recipe, but it's a summer special because this is something that you only get in the summers. You guessed it, raw jackfruit. And what I'm making, tandoori jackfruit. Let's begin. Well, if you're using jackfruit for the first time, it's important to understand the various parts of the fruit. It's of course a raw jackfruit. Uh, the ripe one, of course, is eaten as a ripe, sweet fruit. Uh, there are several parts to the jackfruit. There's a center core, which uh, is to be used in the recipe. Uh, there's this whole prickly outside. There are these round things that you see. They're the seeds. Um, we also put them in dal and uh, they're wonderfully starchy. They're almost like potatoes eventually, but you need to cook them well. Otherwise, they kind of, uh, they give you in uh, digestion and things like that. Uh, it also has a very sticky latex uh, raisin-like uh, gum, uh, which kind of becomes difficult to remove from your fingers and from your clothes. So it's important to rub coconut oil, especially on the blade and also kind of rub it on your palms so that it's just easy to wash your hands later. First things first, we're going to remove this entire prickly part and then the center core needs to be cut into large dices. Now again, the size of the dice would be large, medium, small, completely fine. It depends on um, how you want to use it eventually. If you're making something like a kathal ki biryani or a pulao or maybe a salan, large chunks are preferable. If you're making something like a tandoori, tinier chunks are better because the masala seeps in within. I'm also going to show you a method where uh, you cook it primarily before putting it on the griddle. That just makes life easy. Well, I've cut these into these little triangles, um, some randomly into little chunks, but the whole idea is to retain this in cold water so that they do not discolor. You can also add in like a teaspoon of salt just to kind of ensure it stays well. The next step is to pressure cook this. Very, very important because on a grill, this will not cook. It'll take like a lifetime for this to cook. Um, it's important to pressure cook this initially with a little bit of salt and turmeric. And then we take this to the next level, draining the water out. We move on to marinating it. Let's now get the pressure cooker rolling. Let's add in some salt and some turmeric powder. While the raw jackfruit is getting pressure cooked, let's quickly move on to making the tandoori marination. Let's begin with curd, gram flour, with red chilli powder, followed by turmeric powder, garam masala, mustard oil for that nice earthy aroma, lemon juice, freshly squeezed. Of course, you remove the seeds to ensure that no surprises in your mouth. And lastly, salt as required. Let's mix this well. And with this, your tandoori marination is done and ready. Five whistles are done. With this, off goes the flame. The pressure in the cooker has to subside completely, after which we shall open this and transfer this in a colander. Well, this is just perfectly cooked. Well, now as promised, what I've done is I've taken the large chunks and I've placed them in the marination. The remainder comes down to room temperature and goes straight in the deep freezer for another recipe for another day. But before you do that, do not forget to steal a few of these seeds. The next step is to lace this on a skewer. Of course, what I'm using are some onions and capsicum. Finally, let's place this on the open flame and grill these till they look beautiful and tandoori. We need to barbecue this on high flame till both the sides are beautifully tandoor. With this, a tandoori jackfruit is done and ready. Make this for family, make this for friends, serve it with a chutney, some lachapias and lots of lemon juice. Have fun. See you soon. Bye for now.